I'm sorry guys, this is another floating shelf video. <laughs> I just can't get enough. They're super affordable, they're easy to install, they're fairly easy to make, they don't require a lot of materials, and they look super cool. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make yet another floating shelf. I actually made these for my parents' bathroom. They're going above the toilet, beside the shower. They had a white cabinet up here before, but we're going out with the old and in with the new. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell for more super trendy, budget-friendly ways to decorate your home. You can also find me on Instagram at TimberAnnT underscore for more behind the scenes. All of our lumber is going to be cut on a 45 degree angle and the ends need to be angled inward. So after you make your first cut, rotate your board to make your next cut. I draw a quick angled line on the side of my board just to make sure I'm cutting in the right direction. If we want our miters to be nice and tight, I set my saw at 45 degrees and then leave it there. If you've got your saw set at 45 degrees left, you may be tempted to turn it to 45 degrees to the right to make the opposing cut, but the slight variation we may get by resetting the angle of our saw might result in miters that aren't nice and tight. Then I glued my angled cuts using the page wood glue. I nailed down a scrap piece of wood to prevent my pieces from sliding around when trying to nail it, and then put two brad nails in each end. I used 2 inch 16 gauge brad nails because that's what I had access to, but 18 gauge nails might be a better option since they would leave smaller holes. I'm going to stain mine so I'm not going to worry about the holes, but if you're painting your shelves, you may want to fill them with wood filler before sanding. Once the glue dried, I sanded down all the shelves using an orbital sander with 150 sanding pad, but you could also use a palm sander or sanding block. I used Minwax stain for mine. I wanted a nice dark charcoal though, so I mixed classic gray and ebony. So I am in my parents' bathroom right now. I am going to take this cabinet down that they have up here right now. It was never really intended to be like an open shelf cabinet. You can tell that it used to have doors on it. They just took the doors off and made it into an open shelf unit. But you can tell with like this bar here and here and like a little bit of an overhang that it wasn't really intended to be open shelving. So I'm going to take it down and put up some new floating shelves. The dimensions of these shelves are going to vary from project to project depending on the space, so I haven't provided specific measurements, but if you'd like some specifics, just let me know in the comments below. Just use trim nails in the corner of each shelf, just into the drywall to hang them. I found it easiest to put in one nail, then hang the shelf and get it level, and then mark your other nail. My shelves won't be holding much weight, so this works, but if you're planning on putting a bit of weight on yours, I think your best bet would be a keyhole routered in the back with some drywall anchors in the wall. If you've got another creative way to hang these shelves, I'd love to hear it, so please share your ideas in the comments below. 